What's happening, What's everyone? What's up, guys? Greetings. All right, we are doing, uh, we received this beautiful sample of Macallan 10 year olds from the 1970s. Um, if you want a description, uh, a picture of the bottle, it'll be in the thumbnail. So I'm sure you guys already saw that. Yes, sir. Um, this yes, sample sir. was sent to us from Mark Littler. Very generous man, Mark Littler. Yes, check out his YouTube channel. We're gonna link his YouTube channel and his website down below. And uh, he's he's into what we're into. He's got, yeah. he's got a, a site. His YouTube channel is based on talk mainly talks in terms of whiskey. Mainly talks about uh, collecting whiskey and high end whiskey and tracking auctions of some of the most collectible whiskeys out there. Yeah, it's a wealth of knowledge. His web his website as well. Yeah, and uh, so he makes videos about collecting whiskey, what it's worth. The history of whiskey did a video right. on history of Springbank. History of McAllen. Definitely watch those two. Yeah. yeah. Those, and he's so thorough, so well researched. Incredible. And yeah. he uh, he's an expert at under, uh, you know understanding values of bottles. Right. Oh, he, and in buying casks. Buying Investing casks. in casks today. How long to keep them, where to, where to buy them, how to store them, everything. How to sell them, he'll sell them for you. Absolutely. Yeah. So check out the website. He's we'll link man. it below. Check out the YouTube channel. And uh, I can't forget to mention that he also sells high-end whiskeys so on his very website. Very high-end whiskeys, yeah. He, so he's got like shop, he has an investor's guide. Just check out his website. You'll, you'll be on there for days. It's incredible. So we have not yet purchased anything from his website, but I won't be surprised if we end up purchasing. Most likely. Some, most likely. We yeah. actually made a mistake. We bought a bottle from auction while there was the same bottle on his website for cheaper. Right. So we actually messed up. So that would have been a purchase that we would have made. So we're definitely looking. Um, so well, that, that, wanna... that was when like we'd watch his videos, but I didn't even know he had a website yet. A shop, Correct. You know? We hadn't Correct. even explored the website. So Correct. That was a big mistake. Not going to fuck that up again. Yeah. <laughs> so Always check his website. He's he sent us some samples of some old school whiskeys. Yeah. Um, I thought, you know, I thought it was um, fitting because that's kind of what we're into. Right. So here we go, McAllen, 10 year old from the 1970s, bottled at 40% ABV. So what we'll do kind of the three part series, we'll do one, two, three, but all three samples were generously given. They're all gems from the 1970s, from some of your favorite distilleries. All right. McAllen. Mike. Oh my God, they don't make it like they used to. People that say they do. The first thing, <laughs> before we turned the camera on, the, fir great. the first thing we said was like, cause you know, Oh it wasn't God. too long ago where these were going for, for not too, too much money on auction, but we're always looking at, you know, ultra, ultra gems while these, these are now starting to become gems because they're moving up in price. If we, if we had known the good man, Mark Littler, he would yeah. have advised us differently. <laughs> yeah, we fucked up. And now how much are they now? How much is this bottle now? I, honestly, I, this oh particular bottle, God. I don't want to say because I don't know, but I just do remember a few years ago, it wasn't a lot. Right. Like it was a lot, it, like, but not- But relatively, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like imagine if this was your like, at least weekly, if not daily sipper. Oh yeah. my God. I'm getting no ginger, no pencil shavings. Yeah, oh yeah. my, this is it's, fucking amazing, dude. It's old school, it's old school Macallan. Oh. And it, it smells so much oh, older. Um, the tenure is nuts. There's no way it's only tenure. Yeah, because you're getting like leather and furniture polish and like antique yeah. wood. Antique, yeah, it's waxy. It's musky, sandalwoody. I want to wear it as a cologne. Yeah, fragrance. It's like it's like Fahrenheit, McAllen. And it's then it's got the it's got the it's got the raisins and dates oh, and figs, coffee, prunes, but. They're done like in a in a more aged, like you said, like a like a musk cologne fashion. Yes, it's a it's, it's a, incredible. This oh, if you just don't make it. This is all of why McAllen is the name it is today. This is really nice. This is amazing. Ten years old. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no ABV too. It smells forty percent. Yeah. Seventy proof. You know, UK seventy proof measure. There's no way this is 40%. Imagine the McAllen 12, 40% today. It's nothing compared to this. Power-wise, this is incredible. Power? Yeah, it's not insanely complex. It's no. just very, very 
enjoyable. Well, it's that, but it's that old school nature. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The yeah. whole character of it that you just cannot get today. Absolutely. Palette. Palette. I know what you mean, though. Really? Good follow-up. Yeah. Really delicious. You're getting those beautiful dried fruits. That's good. A little bit of that like toffee, caramel, sandalwood, kind of similar to what I was getting on the nose, Mike, is showing up on the palate. A little, I would actually add a little like apricot on the palate. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, and it could be that this bottle's been, I don't know how long this bottle's been open. True. But it's its its a bit light on the palate. So it's very yeah, possible sure, that sure. Um, it's a slightly below, very, you know, right. fair game, slightly below 40% ABV, which on the nose, it was like, whoa, this is really only 40% ABV? This is magical. Head head. Yeah. So it was like, almost like it was like 46% ABV on the nose, but on the palate, it's almost like it's 35% ABV. Right, it was like UK 80 proof on yeah. the nose. Yeah, this is almost like, like you said, 35% like under proof. Yeah, great flavors, but just the texture, the, the lack of richness, a tiny bit underwhelming on the palate, but still effing delicious. Just incredibly delicious. It's just, this would be, so if this was like, if we're in the 1970s, Wow. And or or even eighties and nineties because this wasn't going for a lot of money then or even the year no. two thousand it wasn't going for any much money. Oh, um, and if you so have if you have multiple bottles of this and it's your daily dram, perhaps if this is the quality that exists, you just don't appreciate it because it's, what it's your used it's to. your norm, yeah, right? That, that was the expectation, so you yeah. get used to that. It's yeah. all relative. It's all relative, and because the current style of sherry is not like this so that's why it's it, it adds to that wow factor um because sometimes people will be like oh do you just enjoy it because it's really rare and expensive now and it's like no enjoy it because it's very good but the fact that this style is not available anymore that definitely adds to the to the factor i mean basically this is what we enjoy what we love yes compared to today so Want to get as much of it, and of course it's rare and expensive, but want to get as much of it as we can. Um, let's go one more time on the palate. Okay. Yeah, kind of light, syrupy. You just want more of that richness, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. more ABV. Like imagine these barrels at cask fucking strength, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, but the nose is so impressive at forty percent. Impressive. Yeah, this is um, old school Macallan. What can I say? This is old school Macallan. It's actually my our both our first drams of the day. Right. Um, and I I, I kind of wanted to have this first because knowing that old school whiskey, especially if the bottle's been open for a little bit while, um, at forty percent, you know they uh, tend you tend to kind of want to want to drink the bottle within the first six months or so when it's 40 percent right. right. um because as it starts dropping in abv and with the bottle age too it's really softened up too as well yeah really really good whiskey incredible thank really. you mark yeah thank, thank you. you thank you sir no this is really good whiskey so it's, impressive it's all you know we've been so fortunate to try so many old school macallans ranging from eight-year-old ten a lot of so many of the ten-year-olds we've tried from the old school days um, this particular bottling we haven't tried before. Correct. We've tried a lot of other tens, but not this particular one. And just another great one from a Callan. Um, the finish is kind of short, but it leaves you with kind of like that, that sandalwood kind of like old school McAllen kind of toffee flavor. Yeah, but I'm getting, I do get some beautiful barrel spice, especially on the sides of the palate. I just want a little more of it, that's all. Like, Absolutely. Like, kind of context, the uh, the McAllen 8 uh, Rinaldi from 1980, 81 era that we reviewed, 
The nose was, was quite similar in quality, you know, spectacular in strength. The palate's maybe a little richer. So again, you just- I think that was a 43% and it was a fresh bottle pop. Yeah, so yeah. just things to think about. Yeah, three yeah. percent points and the fresh bottle. Definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but this is, this is extraordinary. I'd say this one on the nose though, nosed older. Yeah, no, the, the nose actually might be a little better. Yeah. yeah. It was, um, so finish is kind of short. It did nose older, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd say this is like on the nose for me, like a, 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 so, a 91 on the nose. Mm -hmm. Um, but on the palate, it's kind of maybe an 88, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to give it a 90, uh, out of a hundred, but you know, somewhere in that, I guess it would come out to like an 89 and a half. But if I had to choose between 89, just because I enjoyed the nose so, so much. Yeah. And so, you know, it's just such a yummy flavor where it's a, uh, it's a nine, 90 for me. Well, that's why, yeah, that's why I was thinking of kind of using the McAllen eight Rinaldi as a comparative reference point. I believe we gave that a 90 as well did we i think so and so again that that was a little richer but this is this one wins the on the nose, nose. Yeah, yeah the nose yeah just, you're getting more of that beautiful age we love yeah so given that averaging out i'm gonna give it a 90 as well yeah excellent so thanks so much mark uh, mark you the man thank yeah. you so much buddy. and uh, if you haven't checked out his youtube channel if you're into if you're into like old school or high-end whiskey or collecting whiskey um definitely you should definitely check out his website there's really good information and yeah. articles on there as well so even, even if you're new to whiskey and just want you know want to be educated about it yeah. at any level it's a wealth of information yeah do yourself a favor and check it out spend spend some days on it all right we'll see you guys soon for many more cheers